Hi, I'm Greg from Rio Grande's tech support team, and today I'm going to show you how to correctly read a ring mandrel. So this is one of our tapered ring mandrels, which graduates from 1 to 16 in quarter size increments. So the first ring we're going to talk about is a ring that's made of like half round wire. So the inside is flat. So when I put this on the mandrel, it's going to fall to about 10, 10. Any ring that has a flat inside, whether it's square wire, sheet, rectangular wire, half round, low dome, all those is going to look like this. And this is as if I took this ring and sawed it. This is cut. And the ring mandrel itself is going to look like this since it's tapered, right? The only place that it's really touching the mandrel is here. If you go up a little ways, it's not touching the mandrel, only here. If you flip it over, it's going to be touching here also, same thing. So this is the point, this is your size right here where it stops. If you have a ring with a curved inside or a comfort fit, that ring looks like this. It's going to be curved on the outside, it's also going to have a little curve on the inside. The ring mandrel is going to go here, like this. So it's not touching down here like the flat inside ring is, it's going to be touching here. So when you're looking at the mandrel, the marks on the mandrel, you're not going to be looking at this one like you did the flat inside, you're going to be looking at the center of the band for your size, which is here. That's really the big difference. So if you have a ring that's flat on the inside, you measure it to where it drop, falls to. If you have a ring that's got a curve inside, which could, could be round wire, the touch point is where it falls to. It's going to fall and stop at some point. But if you look at it, zoom it in, if it's got a curve or if it's round, it's going to be touching in the middle of the ring, like here, right there. And that's where it falls to on the mandrel. So this flat ring is a size 10 because that's where the leading edge falls to. This one has got the comfort fit. This goes on and it actually falls, the leading edge is about 10 and a half. The top edge is about 10. So this is about a 10 and a quarter. And actually that's what it says, 10 and a quarter. And that my friends is how you read a ring mandrel. So I hope this clarifies any confusion, and if you have any questions, contact us.